Welcome back to John Reviews, random things that people probably don't even know exist. I'm looking at Le Lenovo's. No. I'm looking at the Low Pro Ridgeline Pro BP300 AW backpack today. And I think this is mainly geared towards commuters and students that use their bicycle a lot because it has some, some bike bike centric features that we'll get to in just a bit. I'm going to start with the straps in the back because this is one thing that I always look for when looking at a backpack. It's got to have great straps and a great back. These straps, I wish they'd have a little bit more cushion. That seems to be like a trend with a lot of backpacks is there's not enough cushion in the straps. There's a little bit of foam, but if you really load this down, like fully load it, uh, the straps are a little bit uncomfortable. They're, they're a little bit too thin, thin and hard. So just, just keep that in mind. It's got little uh, little doodad straps here if you keep your keys. Uh, where are my keys? Keys. So I keep my keys on this little, little carabiner. And it's nice because you can just uh, strap them right on there. And you're welcome. One of the most important parts that I look at when purchasing a backpack. The main back panel here, uh, it doesn't have any like individual channels for airflow or anything but they do say that this does offer a little bit of airflow in this foam mesh but not a whole lot uh not the best airflow-ish bag airflow-ishy baggy air airflow-ishy back airflow-ishy back airflow for the back but comfortable if you live in not too warm of a, an area has a nice little trolley strap here so if you're going through the airport you can stick this on your roller bag sternum strap here Plastic hardware, but they feel like they should should stand up to the test of time. Okay, that one's a little stretchy. Also has a nice, uh, what do you call this? A waist, waist strap, which is very helpful when you're biking or if you're on rollerblades or skateboard. Helps keep the back backpack secured onto your back, which is nice. You'll notice down here, there's a little sun, sun logo down here. And that's just indicating that this is where the all-weather uh, little rain rain cover is here. It's a rain cover, wind cover, and snow cover. So if you get stuck in inclement weather, you, you can protect the contents of your bag. This will cover it up and uh, keep it nice and dry. Other features, if you don't need this, waist strap it tucks into the back here which is nice so you can hide it away I didn't keep it hidden it also has a little stash pocket on the side here and it's just big enough to put your passport in there some credit cards driver's license or some extra money money the, the front a very nice looking backpack you know nice clean lines not too obtrusive and uh yeah it looks sharp some of the other bike-centric features are all these reflectors, re reflective material that's here, 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 and here. And a little strap here for a bike light. Keep you visible at night. It comes with these little molly straps and they, they market it as a place where you can hook other bags onto, but I, I don't think you're gonna strap additional bags, no. Front comes with two quick access pockets right here. One here, one here. Uh, pretty deep they go all the way all the way through but they're not connected so they are two independent pockets and this one has a little key ring strap or do doodad water bottle water bottle pocket on this side stretchy mesh you can fit about a 40 ounce water bottle in here there's only one of them this other side there's nothing there has a nice crush resistant uh, compartment up top here. I'm guessing that is for your sunglasses or regular glasses if you get caught in inclement weather. And you can put, uh, ooh, granola bars. Granola bars are good in here. Have you ever put a granola bar in your backpack and you take it out and it's just crushed? Solution. First pocket. Oh, I also want to mention that the zippers are YKK, so they are very nice and very smooth. Nice. Get into the front front pocket here, first first cavern of this backpack, and you are greeted with a lot of organization. You have this like uh, elastic 
bungee strap here. You can put a bunch of pens and other little doodads in there, flash drives. And you got three pockets, one here, oh, sorry. Uh, one here, one here, and then three little pen pockets. The only thing I don't like is these pockets are so deep that you can't get your hand in all the way. So if there's something in the bottom of it, it's really hard to like get in there and, and get it out. There's also a zipper here with a about that deep of a pocket. And then the rest of it is just open. You can fit a pair of headphones in there or something. I wish they would have put another piece of fabric right here with a zipper and had another extra pocket right here. There's plenty of space for it. Missed, missed opportunity. Next pocket is the main compartment. This has a nice big, big zipper on it. Also YKK. And the only thing of note in here is just this uh, mesh pocket right here. So you can see, see what's in here, flash, flash drives and pens and, and put some money in there. And there's nothing else in this main compartment. It's about four inches wide, so you can, you can fit a couple of textbooks in there, notebooks and all your business papers. Last but not least is the laptop compartment. And in here you have a 10 inch tablet sleeve. Uh, it's not padded, it's just, I mean, it's a little padded. The, this nylon material has a little bit of like foam in it right here. And the laptop compartment right here, you can fit up to a 15.6 inch laptop. I can fit my Lenovo P52 in there, uh, no problem. And that goes all the way down, but not all the way down to the bottom. It has, a, I think Low Pro calls it their cradle fit. So the bottom of the laptop compartment doesn't go down to the bottom of the bag. So if you put your bag down on a hard surface, the laptop does not contact with that hard surface. It's about, uh, say about two inches off the bottom of the bag, the end of the laptop compartment. That's it. That's kind of all the features of the bag. It does have some compression straps on the side, so once you get it fully loaded, you can just uh, strap it down and keep it nice, tight, and compact. Material choice, not bad. Uh, it feels like a little bit of a lighter weight material uh, than you'd find from like a $150 or $200 bag, but not bad. Uh, I, I think it'll last quite, quite a while. The only thing of note is the material that they use right here on these accents, it's kind of like that faux leather material that after a couple of years kind of like starts to crack and like peel off. So hopefully that doesn't happen here, but that's just something that might, might happen. Uh, what don't I like about this bag? Really, my only gripes are this back panel. It's it's soft, but it's, it, it does get a little warm and you can get a little sweaty. There isn't enough airflow here if you have it on your back for a long period of time. And I wish they would have put a pocket right here, right there. But other than that, uh, I think it's a very well thought out, well built bag. And I think you'd be hard pressed to find a bag in the $100 range that uh, matches the build quality or the features of this bag. Uh, if you did find something though, put it in the comments below. I'd like to take a look at it. Thanks for joining me today. Hit that like button if you like backpacks. <laughs> That's an easy one. Subscribe if you'd like, get all the updates and Check out the link in the description below if you'd like to purchase this bag, or I'm sure you could find it at any of your favorite online retailers. See you next time.